everyone, it's Tara, and it is time for the final hybrid review for Monster High that I have. This is the third doll that I got uh, from Monster High that I'm going to open, and this one is called Avia Trotter. She is the hybrid of a centaur and a harpy, which I'm not too familiar with either of those. Um, I imagine one is some sort of horse, but if you guys know more about it, please leave your notes down below. I am super excited to open her, so let's get into it. On the back, it says that she is age 17. She has killer style, freaky flaw, and a favorite activity, favorite school subject. Um, the DVD for the Freaky Fusion will be released fall of 2014. She comes with this cute little diary like the other two did. If you haven't seen those reviews, make sure to check out my other two Monster High um, hybrid reviews. This is so cool! And I just learned that a lot of them have um, like remov a removable parts. So we'll have to take another look at that. I love her hair color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so here she is out of the box. I've had some trouble keeping her wings on so I've removed them so they are definitely removable. They are black with a little bit of green on the end which is kind of weird because there's not a lot of the green anywhere else on her so I would have liked to see those in a purple or a more turquoise green but they're still pretty cool. Then she has like a, a purple horse like body and I love these fashion things. But overall, this doll really creeps me out for some reason. Now that I have her out of the box, there's a really creepy element to her. I don't know why. She just kind of looks evilly to me. Like she's the villain. <laughs> what will I think of next? Hmm. You never know. I might have a couple tricks up my sleeve. I love her face detailing, very beautiful makeup. She has dark purple lipstick on, she has light purple skin on her upper half. Her hair is gorgeous, it has turquoise and green pieces throughout. This is probably my favorite um, hair out of the three hybrid dolls. And she doesn't have bad um, box hair like um, the first one had. She was $24.99 at Toys R Us. She has this cute little hat on the top with a pink feather. She has a cute little top on. I have hair everywhere. There is just two little holes in her back for the wings. Well, this one wing doesn't stay very well. Might have to glue it if I want it in there permanently. She has little light purple skulls printed on her back half, which is kind of like a cutie mark. She doesn't have it on this side but she does have it on her leg right here. Her joints aren't very stiff and so she falls really easily and her joints move a little bit too easily. They don't stick well enough. Her body does twist at the torso. And so let me see if these hands just pop off. 
Yeah, I guess they do. See if they pop back in. This is just a very strange doll. Very different. Alright, so that is my review of Avia Trotter. Let's take a peek of her diary. Hopefully I can read her handwriting. Ooh, is she gonna stay? Not really. Okay. You might get a kick out of reading my diary. Seriously, you might. <laughs> I went for a gallop along the beach this morning for a couple of reasons. One, because I thought the sand might feel nice on my hooves, and two, a nice gallop always clears my head. There was a lovely tailwind, too, that caught my wings and helped carry me along. It was almost as if I were flying down the beach. Almost. I passed a ghoul and a monster who looked like they were my age. The ghoul was trying to teach the monster how to surf. But he didn't look scary comfortable. Very cool. Alright, so there is my review on Avia. Hopefully you like this review. And if you like really unique dolls, I definitely suggest her. Overall, she's a really great value. Lots of detail. And just overall, just very unusual doll. I'm just very used to Barbie, so this is very, very different from what I am used to, which is not a bad thing. It just might take a little bit used, uh, might take a little time to get used to her um, and the Monster High dolls. But overall, I think they're really good quality, and they um, really stick to really good detailing, and they inspire girls to read a little bit. So. Overall, I think they're a pretty decent doll, and their hands come off, and I think um, a lot of their parts are interchangeable, which is really cool. I didn't know that about them, so definitely worth checking out for yourself. Well, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye!